AFM image of naphthalene tetracarboxylic diamide molecules on silver interacting via hydrogen bonding at 77 K. Hydrogen bonds in the top image are exaggerated. By artifacts of the imaging technique, NCAFM imaging of the molecular self-assembly process of two aminotary phthalic acid molecules on calcite. STM image of self-assembled BR4 pyrene molecules on O surface and its model. Molecular self-assembly is the process by which molecules adopt a defined arrangement without guidance or management from an outside source. There are two types of self-assembly. These are intramolecular self-assembly and intermolecular self-assembly. Commonly, the term molecular self-assembly refers to intermolecular self-assembly, while the intramolecular analog is more commonly called folding. Molecular self-assembly is a key concept in supramolecular chemistry. This is because assembly of molecules in such systems is directed through non-covalent interactions, for example, hydrogen bonding, metal coordination, hydrophobic forces, van der Waals forces, high stacking interactions, and or electrostatic, as well as electromagnetic interactions. Common examples include the formation of colloids, biomolecular condensates, michels, vesicles, liquid crystal phases, and Langmuir monolayers by surfactant molecules. Further examples of supramolecular assemblies demonstrate that a variety of different shapes and sizes can be obtained using molecular self-assembly. Molecular self-assembly allows the construction of challenging molecular topologies. One example is boromian rings, interlocking rings wherein removal of one ring unlocks each of the other rings. DNA has been used to prepare a molecular analog of boromian rings. More recently, a similar structure has been prepared using non-biological building blocks. Molecular self-assembly underlies the construction of biologic macromolecular assemblies and biomolecular condensates in living organisms, and so is crucial to the function of cells. It is exhibited in the self-assembly of lipids to form the membrane, the formation of double helical DNA through hydrogen bonding of the individual strands, and the assembly of proteins to form quaternary structures. Molecular self-assembly of incorrectly folded proteins into insoluble amyloid fibers is responsible for infectious prion-related neurodegenerative diseases. Molecular self-assembly of nanoscale structures plays a role in the growth of the remarkable beta-keratin lamella-slash-CD-slash-spatulae structures used to give geckos the ability to climb walls and adhere to ceilings and rock overhangs. When multiple copies of a polypeptide encoded by a gene self-assemble to form a complex, this protein structure is referred to as a multimer. Genes that encode multimer-forming polypeptides appear to be common. When a multimer is formed from polypeptides produced by two different mutant alleles of a particular gene, the mixed multimer may exhibit greater functional activity than the unmixed multimers formed by each of the mutants alone. In such a case, the phenomenon is referred to as intragenic complementation. Gell pointed out that, when immersed in a liquid and intermingled with other molecules, charge fluctuation forces favor the association of identical molecules as nearest neighbors. Molecular self-assembly is an important aspect of bottom-up approaches to nanotechnology. Using molecular self-assembly the final structure is programmed in the shape and functional groups of the molecules. Self-assembly is referred to as a bottom-up manufacturing technique in contrast to a top-down technique such as lithography where the desired final structure is carved from a larger block of matter. In the speculative vision of molecular nanotechnology, microchips of the future might be made by molecular self-assembly. An advantage to constructing nanostructure using molecular self-assembly for biological materials is that they will degrade back into individual molecules that can be broken down by the body. DNA nanotechnology is an area of current research that uses the bottom-up, self-assembly approach for nanotechnological goals. DNA nanotechnology uses the unique molecular recognition properties of DNA and other nucleic acids to create self-assembling branch DNA complexes with useful properties. DNA is thus used as a structural material rather than as a carrier of biological information, to make structures such as complex 2D and 3D lattices and three-dimensional structures in the shapes of polyhedra. These DNA structures have also been used as templates in the assembly of other molecules such as gold nanoparticles and streptovidin proteins. The spontaneous assembly of a single layer of molecules it interfaces is usually referred to as two-dimensional self-assembly. One of the common examples of such assemblies are langmuir blodgett monolayers and multilayers of surfactants. Non-surface active molecules can assemble into ordered structures as well. 
early direct proof showing that non-surface active molecules can assemble into higher order architectures at solid interfaces came with the development of scanning tunneling microscopy and shortly thereafter. Eventually two strategies became popular for the self-assembly of 2D architectures, namely self-assembly following ultra-high vacuum deposition and annealing and self-assembly at the solid liquid interface. The design of molecules and conditions leading to the formation of highly crystalline architectures is considered today a form of 2D crystal engineering at the nanoscopic scale. Thanks for watching.